disgusting. I hate Smurfs. Smurfs are deplorable creatures that ruin games. I genuinely despise them. But I'm doing it for the greater good. It hurts. It brings so much pain to my heart to do this, but I know it's the right thing to do. I know it's the right thing to do. Okay, so again, what I like doing here, using this little flank, jumping above the uh, the roof here, and now we have easy access to the back line. So we, we saw the Ash use her uh, little coach, but we missed a little bit there, so that's not good. Uh, unfortunately, the Ryan has died immediately. I think I could have clutched that fight if I hit the Ash there, but unfortunately, uh, we made a much bigger mistake there by uh, just dying. So let's see, I do think we can still touch if I go for it. Yeah, luckily they have one person on point only, so that's just a Moira, who we can kill. We're waiting for the fade. Now she faded, now we can follow her. Very important you don't waste your dash because your chance of missing the dash is really high, right? We're just gonna deflect here and uh, kill the Ash. Very nice. Luckily we get another chance. I don't think we deserve another chance. It's somewhere here. Yeah, she is. I noticed. I heard her footsteps. The footsteps in this game are so loud. Ah, much better. She thought she could hide from me, but I knew. I heard her. My what I like doing here? Yeah, what I like doing here is going over the roof. And uh, let's see if we can uh, maybe pressure the mercy again. We're just saving our dash to run away. If we get a kill, cool. If not, whatever, we escape, right? So it's completely fine. Now we have Dragon Blade. So let's see if we can combo it with, with our Ana character. Uh, looks like we have a ground barrage here. My ultimate is ready. My ultimate is ready. Okay, she's almost ready with her nano. So now we're gonna dash up. And we can go for uh, the uh, epic kills. Looks like our Ryan is doing some work here. Moira's running away. Got a 1k nano blade, but maybe we can, uh, maybe we can turn it into more. Because we can kill the Farah. Now we know Moira doesn't have a, di or a, a dash, and she's in the mega room, so it's very safe to to push her. And then we we gotta get out. We don't want to stay there for too long because we're going to die. So again, what I like doing here is going over the roof. But it uh, looks like they're engaging with Coalescence, so we gotta react to that. My Mercy is dead here. But Ash is ch ch challenging me alone. So I can go for the kill. Now I need to run away from Moira because I'm burning. I wouldn't normally go for the fight. But she looks like she's chasing me anyway. Oh no, she's not actually. Okay, that's fine. That was a pretty decent hold. We held them for almost three minutes. Pretty good. Now I'm gonna actually just stall the payload a little bit here because I know I can run away over the roof here. Deflect out so they don't kill me. Very nice. We're in a little bit of a, a little bit of danger here because Pharaoh's on us, but as long as we stay in the air, she shouldn't be able to hit us. Because they're very difficult shots. It's a lot easier for Farah to hit you if you're on the ground because she ha she can just splash damage you, right? But if you're in the air, um, then she has to direct you. Obviously a lot harder. Bro stopped with the controller to prove he's not actually gold. Uh, no, I'm just, it's just on pause. I'm going to continue it. It's just, I, I felt like doing this now. Basically, so Mercy's hack, I'm going to follow with, with our Sombra. Should also kill the D.Va. After, but let's see, she remaked, unfortunate. No, I don't want to fight this Moira here. There's only two of them. We're still going to die if our team doesn't commit, which I don't think they are. Oh, it looks like Moira faded aggressively, so we can punish that. Very nice. And now we have Dragon Blade for next fight. What's up, Nia? Um. Looks like Farah's a little bit low, so we can go for her. Go for Mercy, she doesn't know we're here. We have the element of surprise. She's gonna be gliding in the air, can't really go for her. Also, Diva's pressuring us, so we gotta leave here. Could look for a little cheeky spawn kill in the Ash, but uh, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. Maybe they're... Maybe they got hands. Just got to run. Fun fact, if you... Um, if you hold W instead of S, uh, you actually move 10% faster. So you move, actually you don't move faster, but you move slower while back paddling. So you really don't want to do this because this is actually slower than walking forward. And it's actually one of the changes I hope they add in Rivals as well, because I think it's a good thing. You should definitely punish people back paddling. It makes sense. Um, 
Nice. Now me and Sombra can just kill the D.Va here. D-Mech her. Don't let her uh, finish the D.Va now. Leave her. You'll always stagger the D.Va. Always stagger the D.Va. Looks like our Sombra's not on the same page as us, but it's fine. Ooh, okay, looks like we've been randomly down on, but that's fine because we uh we can kill the diva before she remix. Nice. That's a big value there. Then we can go for the Pharah. Only takes two swings, which is really big. That was a little bit of a jump scare. It was a jump scare nano, guys. That's what I like to uh that's what I like to call those. It's a jump scare. Now we're gonna hide here. Farah's gonna come over here. Do I like jump scare nanos? Hell no. So now we can go, especially if the Sombra helps us. We can go for the Farah. She's 1 HP, looks like no one's healing her. This is our chance to kill her. Nice. Now I can contest this more. I'm gonna... Oh, nice. Well played by Doomfist. I actually did not see him there. It's very nice. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was fisted. Unfortunate. This G cross. I'm going to say something you're going to hate, but the truth needs to be told. Knee cross and Shadow are friends. I met them. Yeah, we are in nice last fight territory here, guys. I was a fan. We're going to kill some people that are out of position, like this Pharah fighting me one v one. It's really big for us. Her soul is going to fly down, so the Mercy is going to be able to res her. But it's fine as long as I live. It's fine. I can actually fight this Doomfist because I've got the Mega here. So he shouldn't be able to kill me. Okay, looks like he ulted. Just got yoinked my mega. Now I got it again. And that hacked mega is really strong to play around. We're gonna look for some people in the back. Um, don't have a lot of good targets here, unfortunately. Nice for actually securely killing that guy. I'm gonna go for Mercy, but she has jump now. She's gonna create space. I need to run here. Hopefully Diana hits me. She wasn't too concerned with me. Unfortunately, maybe Ryan clutches here. Oops, he kind of pinned the, the ground. A little bit unfortunate here. Just kind of like Crandops Ryan, more or less. Ah, oh, damn. All right, well, looks like we don't win this, but it's fine. Damn, this this rank really is just just like Moira, Pharah, Mercy, Perma. It, they really just only play those heroes. This is kind of silly. I don't know if I would recommend playing Genji into this, guys. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't think it's worth forcing him. I think if you want to climb out of this rank, just one trick something like Echo. It's going to... You're going to save yourself a lot of, like, mental health by doing that. Because Echo is really good into this whole comp. Barra's pushing us here. She's really low. She just used both her abilities, so I know I can push her. Three. I think this should be kind of low. Looks like he's not, but it's fine. We can't do much about that res. I, I can climb on the high ground here to dodge the punch. Uh, the best way to play against Doomfist is to stay above him like this. Because he can't use his punch, right? There you go. That's very good to do against him. Always play above him. Always utilize wall climb to stay uh, above his elevation. Certain good Doomfists will do the thing where they like jump up and then charge their punch. Like cancel it instantly and charge their punch. But those are kind of like rare. The people that know how to do that against Genji. Nice. Big clutches, big clutches. Maybe we can punish Doomfist again. Nice, looks like he died here. Good for us. Now we can use Dragon Blade here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna hide here. They're not gonna check their corner. They're just gonna keep walking past us. And I'm just gonna blade something like... Uh, okay, looks like that guy knows. But he has to touch the point, so... Nah, we just probably... I'm actually gonna go for this Sombra. And Moira. She just used Fade, so right? She's free. And then uh, just Mercy staggering here. And finally, Doomfist. Nice. Very nice. Moira is the easiest to climb and lower it rank. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a, a ton of Moira. If I mean, if you're playing support, you probably want to play something like Moira. Um, I think you have a lot of options to carry games. There's a lot of like DPS supports in the game that can just do a great job. At like, if you're a good player that has mechanical skill, you can absolutely out aim silver players on a support. You do have options like Bap, like Ilari, like. Um, to a lesser degree, Anna, I suppose. Um, yeah, a lot of these heroes are super good at just being DPS on top of being supports. Briggs really good too. Yeah, maybe. 
Nobody shoots mercy and gold. Well, that's why that's why you, the viewer watching this uh, guide, will uh, know to shoot the mercy. Just uh, you gotta you gotta be a mechanical freak on Genji. This hero really is all about mechanics nowadays. So get to practicing. In my opinion, it's worth climbing with a high skill he ceiling hero, even if it's slower. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you listen, if you are countered by one or two heroes, you can maybe justify keeping it. But if they have like three or more counters, then uh, sure, you can still go for it, but you will probably suffer, right? You will probably suffer trying to do that. So it's my suggestion to like go something like Echo. Um, until they swap the hit scan, and once they swap, if, if, the, if the enemy team is like, if you're doing really well on a flying hero, the enemies tend to go hit scan, and then when they they're, when they're on hit scan, um, you can just go back to Genji. Simple as that. That's a really nice leap. I could, might be able to finish him off there. Oh, I missed my right click, but it's fine because he didn't know I'm behind him. Now I'm gonna force the fade. Ooh, nice. I banked on him shooting me with that uh rocket there, which he did indeed do. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I might actually die here. Yeah, I'm going to die. She's getting damage boosted by Mercy, so that's a bit unfortunate. But they did leave their tank to die, so that's completely fine. If I didn't run out of ammo there, I would have actually killed her. But yeah, as I said, Moira's no matter what skill level, they have, they just have the, they just have consistent damage output, right? They have consistent damage output. So you're on a timer. When you're fighting a Moira, it doesn't matter if it's like a, a GM Moira or a Silver Moira. You're on a timer to uh, kill her before she kills you. Now the difference between uh, a Silver Moira and a GM Moira is probably how they use their fade uh, as well as general movement. So it's going to be a lot harder to hit them. But if you don't have the mechanics, if you miss your shots, a Silver Moira will kill you just as fast as a GM Moira. So right, right now, again, we want to just face first fade here. She did not use it. It's fine, we'll just farm some we'll charge off this guy. Now, I'm going to actually go for the supports here, because I don't think Mercy can run away from me. Moira just kind of left her. So she just used fade. Uh, we're going to line aside for a second. Looks like we won't kill her in two swings, unfortunately. She's a little bit too tanky. Solo ult is crazy. So we force fade again. Oh no, we just kill her. That's good. I'm educated? Nice. I'm, I'm actually really glad. Press 1 if you're educated. Press 1 if you're extremely educated. Press 1 if your brain has expanded. Um, Soldiers are really good target for us to fight. We want to actually uh, pressure him here as much as we can. Doomfist is on us, but that's fine. What, pro tip, you can actually cancel your reload early as Genji with dash. You don't actually, I'm going to try to show this, but you don't actually have to go through your full reload animation. So if you look bottom right, oh, actually, wait, I was going to show, but the mercy kind of rezzed. Um, okay. Yeah, this guy's dead now. So look, if uh, I kind of need them to stop coming so I can showcase my point. Ideally, this point uh, is very easy to stall forever. So if you look at the animation, right, it actually like it refills my bullets uh, kind of before Genji's hand goes all the way like back to normal. Right. So if I cancel it in a time like right, uh, right about there, I can actually skip part of the animation or like even better with dash if I want to go in. Right. It's very good to do that. So now I want to blade here, but my team isn't really there. Now they're there, so now I'm gonna actually go for the uh, soldier here, because he's my best target. Uh, and the uh, Anzo has been shattered, so we're gonna go for him. But I kinda lost him, unfortunately. Because I suck. But it doesn't matter, still, we, we got one kill, we lived. We forced a bunch of cooldowns. So this is really good. We will win, we will out sustain this fight. Eventually. Because our heroes are just better at that. We can pressure the soldier here so he's not shooting our team. We're gonna get behind Ryan Shield here in a second. He's a bit, he's a bit far back. Ooh, nice big pin by the Ryan. Big pin by the Ryan. Huge pin. Nice more attack. So now we can dash her safely. We know we can kill her. Controller blade. Um, well, I'm trying to like nerf myself. I'm not trying to like super try hard, right? I'm trying to nerf myself so it's like more, more like a uh, gold Genji. You know what I mean? So we wanna we wanna fight the soldier again. Really good target for us. Always go for the targets you're good against. 
Ooh, okay, this guy's kind of got moves. This guy's kind of got moves. Some nice AD strafes. Probably has a Wu Ting, for sure. Nice. Good game. This mercy's cracking me up. Yeah, it's always the spawn.